Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, and peace and grace be multiplied unto the house of David, Dabayath Dawadah, which is the elect of men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Right, uh, you know, real quick, you know, brothers, you know, the men and the women, you know, that are paying attention to the signs, you know, watching the men that are watching, you know, and speaking upon, you know, their watchtower, you know, what's going on over there in Syria, um, you know, things are looking, is heating up more and more. It's looking like, um, you know, hey, the Lord's speeding up these prophecies, man, and call her law, Yahweh Bashim, I was shot before that. But, um, you know, I just wanted to put in my two cents, um, basically, on how uh, Satan's uh, kingdom is being divided, man. Because, you know, all these people, you know, you see in this picture and the majority of these people uh, that are, you know, in these UN councils and, and have a say-so are Edomites, all right? And if they're not Edomites, then they're following after Esau in his kingdom. We are living in Esau's kingdom, but... The Lord is, uh, you know, systematically destroying this place, man. And ultimately, it's going to lead to the destruction of this whole East Edomite, you know, rulership. Okay. Esau is the end of this world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay. But, uh, you know, here is a, a headline came out today, which is April 10th. The UNSC fails to pass three resolutions on Syria Kim attack as Russia calls for restraint. OK, so you got, you know, Russia and America mainly going back and forth with trying to put out resolutions, um, you know, before the United States, the UK and France actually goes in over there and attacks um, Syria, which is a strong ally to Russia and um, Iran. But, you know, it, it's it's a, a great thing to see that. These uh, Edomites, man, they can't get along. You know, they can't agree on anything, you know, specifically America, which is the daughter of Babylon and Russia. All right. Which is uh, in the scriptures referred to as Gog and Magog. But um, it says the Russian envoy to the U.N. called on the U.S. to refrain from plans it might be harboring for Syria after three consecutive resolutions to investigate the alleged recent chemical attack near Damascus failed to pass. The latest resolution was fa to fail was a Russian-sponsored draft back in the U Organization for the Prohibit uh, Prohibition of Chemical Weapons fact-finding mission at the site of the, of the alleged attack in Duma. The draft received five votes in favor, Russia, China, Ethiopia, Kazakhstan, and Bolivia. And, you know, I'll say this. I see uh, Ethiopia here. When you go to uh, Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, it, it mentions Ethiopia, you know, being an ally to Russia. All right. So, you know, that's no coincidence, man. These prophecies are speaking, screaming loud and clear, man. And. Hey, these people, these regular peons in America, they don't see what's going on, man. You know, these regular average day citizens, so-called citizens of Babylon, these Babylonians do not realize what is actually happening, man. All right. The Lord is moving. The Lord is working. This is the Lord's, uh, 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 this is the Lord's plans, man. And it's just a blessing for us to see it and be able to speak on it and, you know, be able to warn the sheep. All right. It's a blessing and an honor, man, to be a vessel that the Lord has used for us to speak uh, his prophecies, man, because these prophecies are sure enough coming to pass. All right. But we announced his four votes against the U.S., the U.K., France and Poland and six uh, absten uh, abstinations falling short of the minimum nine requi uh, votes required for adoption. All right. So, you know, basically, man, I'm, just, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but. They can't come to any any agreement, all right? You know, Russia uh, uh, is vetoing America's uh, resolutions, and you got other. And then when Russia comes without the, without a, with with the resolution, you got you know the other side of Esau not being able to um, you know agree with what they want to do. So it's going back and forth, back and forth, man. And what ultimately is going to lead to um, you know 
this third war's war. All right, that's that's plain and simple. Was this is what it's leading up to, man? Okay, um, get a get a scripture real quick. This is um Matthew twelve verse twenty five. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided divided against itself shall not stand. And whether or not you want to believe it, but this whole system is an Edomite system. Okay. Everything from the UN to, you know, these different, you know, superpower nations, specifically Russia and uh, America, they're both Edomites. All right. They are supposed to be, you know, uh, um, backing each other up. They're supposed to be, you know, uh, helping each other. Okay. They all come from the house of Esau. But guess what? They're divided against each other. And that div that division is going to lead to World War Three. That division is going to lead to an actual all-out war. Okay? It says in 26, And if Satan casts out, cast out Satan, he is, is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? All right? And that's what you're seeing, man. Because these Edomites are are Satan's, man, <laughs> both of them, Russia and America, okay? They're both at um, adverse to the Most High. They're both they're both adverse to 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and uh, Israel. So they're both Satan. But guess what? They're going and fighting against each other, man. So how can this kingdom how can this kingdom stand? All right, how can this kingdom actually stand? And it's not going to. And that's what you're seeing right now, man. So, you know, paying attention, you know, real quick, just want to bring that out. Paying attention to these signs at the times, man. You know, the, the these diplomatic solutions are failing. These diplomatic um, resolutions that each of both sides are trying to come up with are, are keeps failing, man. And it's only going to lead to what? An all-out war. So, you know, uh, with that, Lord willing, you know, keep keep paying attention Hey, keep uh, being patient, man. Don't lose your patience. Don't lose your faith. All right. We almost home. All, all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom.